Michelle and this is Mishmash. I'm making videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I would love it if you subscribed. Today I'm doing my currently reads and a little bit of a library haul. So to start out with, I have been reading this book, Birdie, by Tracy Lindbergh for a while now. <laughs> I think I mentioned it in my last currently reading, which was two weeks ago. So it's not very good. And but I'm I think I'm over halfway now, if you can see where that bookmark is. By the way, I do not have any actual bookmarks, and I feel like that is a real shame. So I need to look into some bookmarks. If you know of any good bookmark places, let me know in the comments. But anyway, this book is taking me a while to read. This is the book I selected to read for the Canada Reads competition, which I have a video about, which I'll link above. Um, but I don't know, I guess I picked the worst one. <laughs> um, I've Since buying this and starting it, I've looked at more reviews and seen other people's opinions and they are loving all the other books except for this one. I guess the consensus is it's just really hard to get into and from what I found like the first hundred pages I had no idea what was going on, where we were in the timeline of the story, and who was who. Which is kind of, you know, important things to know about when you're reading a book. So I am not loving this to be honest. I heard that it was supposed to be darkly comic and I have not found that at all. Um, it's just very, like, the, the way it's written is, is very, um, confusing. So, I don't know, but I would like to finish it hopefully soon. At the same time, because I, if I'm not liking a book, I can't just only read that book. I'll get totally in a slump. So I'm also reading People of the Book by Geraldine Brooks. This is a book that I had bought at a used bookstore a little while ago. Mostly because I had read it before and, and loved it and I couldn't remember if I actually, you know, I couldn't uh, remember why I loved it and I wanted to see if it was actually that good. So, um, again, I don't have a bookmark so I don't remember where I am right now, but I'm, I'm like about over halfway through this one as well and I'm loving it. The, the story of this book is, there's this ancient Jewish book a prayer book called a Haggadah, which I'm probably saying wrong. It starts out with this Australian book expert in like the 90s or 2000s or something like that, and she is selected to look at this book and find out its history. So she um, flies to Bosnia to where this book is and starts investigating the book and she finds like little things in the book like a hair or a little butterfly wing a stain. And so from those things that she finds in the book, there's a whole story of how that got there through history. And so it goes back in time to those stories of who had that book at that time, why it was hidden or why it was um, stolen. And it is just so interesting. It's like reading a non-fiction history book, but in a engaging fiction way and it is so good. So I might be doing a book review when I finish this book because I love it, love it that much. So then yesterday I went to the library, which is my favorite thing to do right before a weekend. This is called Relish by Lucy um, Nicely, and I think it's Nicely. And it is a graphic novel about food. And what could go wrong with that? <laughs> um, one of the challenges on the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge is a food memoir, so I, I think that this counts for that. And so far there's um, some really cool, like, well, she has like different stories of her life that revolve around food. And then she also has some recipes in here. Let me see if I can find one. So here, this is the best chocolate chip cookies recipe. And, it, and she like illustrates it and then shows you how to make them. And there's those little cookies and it's really cute. <laughs> so it's just really fun and cute and pretty. And I'm excited to read that one. Then I picked up two other books from the library that I'd never heard of or seen before which is always fun. You can just kind of try out a book and if you don't like it, no biggie because you just got out of the library. So this book was on a display for March because it's green and St. Patrick's Day is in March. <laughs> That's the only reason I could find. Uh, this is called Everybody Rise by Stephanie Clifford. And on the back um, there's a few like blurbs, but one of them is from Malcolm Gladwell, who I enjoy his books. And I don't really know anything about it, but I just saw the, the first, like, the blurb. Basically, I read that it's 2006 in Manhattan, and this girl is 26, determined to carve her own path, 
free herself from the influence of her social climbing mother, Upper East Side. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just love stories set in New York, and it's always fun to read a book about someone rich and, you know, living in the Upper East Side. So we'll see if it's any good. I, I have no idea, but it looks pretty. And then this one's kind of random too. It's called Three Story House by Courtney Miller Santo. Um, it says she also wrote The Roots of the Olive Tree. Never heard of that one either. This is about three childhood best friends who are about to turn 30 and they, I think they buy a house together and want to like restore it. And I don't know, it's just kind of interesting to me. So I'll give it a whirl, see, see what the first couple chapters are like and if I like it or not. But I don't know, it's just fun. So that's what I'm reading this weekend and throughout the next week. I am going to a school play tonight at um, old high school. They're doing Alice in Wonderland, so that should be fun. I'm about to take my mom out for lunch today too. And then I have no other really plans this weekend, so I am hoping to get a lot of reading done and we'll see what else. It's really beautiful out weather-wise right now, so I'm hoping to get outside, do some walks or something like that. And yeah, so let me know what you're reading this weekend or if you've read any of these books. And I'll be back with another video on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.